Welcome to the VoiceFlow Docs. Whether you're trying to learn how to build your first AI agent, are looking for some design best practices, or want to learn how to use the VoiceFlow APIs, this is the place, and we're so glad to have you here. This is the hub for all of VoiceFlow's product and API documentation. Let me walk you through it. First of all, there's the guide section. This part is about building agents on VoiceFlow. Of course, there's a quick start guide made to get you up and running with your first AI agent quickly. Next, there's a section on building agents. This will walk you through everything you need to know to build a great agent on VoiceFlow, including the different phases of development, like understanding, deciding, and responding, as well as some extra best practices. Then, there's some information on deploying your agents through various different channels, including the basic web chat, but also examples with text and voice-based interfaces, as well as an overview of why you might want to build your own custom interfaces. To round it off, there's a section on building more advanced agents with an agent enhancement cookbook and some other more advanced features of VoiceFlow. Next up is the API reference. This section will get you up to speed with everything you need to know how to use the APIs. This includes some conceptual information on how to use them, as well as a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with your first VoiceFlow APIs. And then, of course, there's the bulk of the API documentation for all the endpoints. But this isn't any old static API documentation. This is interactive and you can play with it in real time. Simply get your API key from your VoiceFlow project, paste it into the documentation, set what variables you want to be associated to the request. Here, we're gonna pick a launch request. And then all you have to do is click try it to send an actual request to your real VoiceFlow agent. And you get to see the response right here in the docs. This is super handy for developing your tools that use the VoiceFlow APIs. And you can stay up to date with all the new VoiceFlow features through the change logs tab. The docs are regularly being updated as we add new features and as we get feedback. So definitely join the VoiceFlow community on Discord to get some suggestions. For even more resources, make sure to check out the VoiceFlow template marketplace and our YouTube, which is full of handy tutorials and guides. Now it's your turn to have a look around.